Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Back to the Future. Uh, today is not a day to feel so drowsy. Damn, damn allergies. So, we last, we last left off. We left off where Marty is in an alternate in an alternate timeline and he's trying to convince this timeline's doc who is mayor of town and running it like a prison to help him get back to help him fix the DeLorean that got wrecked uh, what? And try to get back Where to the original timeline ah Citizen Plus? Citizen Plus! <laughs> Someone's locked up all my stuff. I'll never get that combination on my own. Make sure the McFly boy is prepped for his Citizen Plus treatment by the time I finish with my husband. How is Citizen Brown? I'm afraid it's worse than we imagined. He's gone completely antisocial. Darn. We're using every tool at our disposal to snap him out of it. But I fear that nothing short of a complete personality rebuild will bring our leader back to us. And it's all McFly's fault? Unbelievable, isn't it? One teenage hooligan has brought Hill Valley to the brink of ruin. Ah, well. Let me know when he's ready. I'll be tending to Citizen Brown. I gotta get out of here and rescue Doc. Ho hoping that the smell of Martin? coffee... Ah, that is that you? Who else would it be? Where are you? Back in the garage. What are you doing in the Citizen Plus ward? Edna threw me in here. She can't do that to my son. How can I help? Know anything about cracking combination locks? Sorry, son. I'm more of a peeping Tom than a safe cracker. Not that I'm not happy that you're here, but why are you here? I'm looking for your mother. Mom? After you left, she and I had a big old fight, and, well, she went and signed herself up for a full battery of Citizen Plus treatments. Didn't you tell her about Biff? I tried. You know your mother. Once she puts her mind to something, she's a regular force of nature. I figure that if I can just find her, maybe I can talk her out of this foolishness. It's nice that you're concerned about Mom, but couldn't you come down here yourself? I'm probably in enough trouble with the authorities already. No, I think it's better for everyone if I stay here in my garage with my televisions and cameras. Pussy. Yeah. Those Citizen Plus watches are gonna turn everyone in Hill Valley into robots, starting with Citizen Brown. I always suspected digital watches were evil. It's not the watches, Dad, it's Edna. She's completely lost it. Citizen Edna's crazy? Oh, that's not good. Although it would explain a lot. Dad, I know this is a lot to accept, but I've got to rescue Citizen Brown so that we can go back in time and stop him from ever marrying Edna in the first place. You're right, son. That is a lot to accept. So let's forget you ever said it, just concentrate on getting you out of there. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. Is there any way you can help me escape this loony bin? What did you have in mind? I don't know. Maybe override the security systems or something. Override the what? Son, this isn't a science fiction movie. Know anything about cracking combination locks? Sorry, son. I... So, have you found Mom yet? Not yet. 
Stay close, Dad. I'm as close as I can get, Martin. Jen? Hey, Jennifer! I gotta get her attention. That's not very relaxing. never get that combination on my own. Hey, let me out! Hello? What? Hey, could you get me a burger or something? The only food I've had today is a tofu dog. Regrettably, sir, the rigors of the Citizen Plus treatment require you to begin the process with an empty stomach. Why is all my stuff locked in a cage? In order to ensure that Citizen Plus patients don't injure themselves, their belongings are placed in a locked box until the completion of their Citizen Plus treatment. Injure themselves? It's a very intensive process. Some people can't handle it. Can I go visit Jennifer Parker? She's right next door. Citizen Plus patients are not allowed to fraternize. It contaminates the treatments. Let me out of here. Sorry, sir, but Citizen Plus patients aren't allowed to exit their waiting rooms until the Citizen Plus treatment chamber has been suitably prepped for their procedure. You can't keep me in here. It's against the law. When you signed your Citizen Plus treatment agreement, you gave the Citizen Plus ward legal approval to incarcerate you until the completion of your Citizen Plus treatment. I didn't sign anything. Of course you did, sir. Citizen Edna handed me the paperwork herself. Of course she did. I don't suppose you believe me if I told you that Edna forged my signature? That's a good one, sir. <sighs> Dad! How can I help, son? Could you let me talk to Jennifer? Jennifer Parker? Yeah, she's in the room next door. Let's see, that'd be waiting room beta. Got it. You're all patched in, son. Jennifer! Martin, is that you? Where are you? I'm over here, in the camera. Oh, Martin, aren't you in enough trouble already? Trouble? Jen, what are you talking about? You know, with all the drinking and the PDAs. Jennifer, oh, what's wrong with you? You sound strange. I used to be strange, Martin. But thanks to my first Citizen Plus treatment, I'm well on my way to becoming an average, well-adjusted teenager. Citizen Plus? Oh, no. Jen, not you, too. Why is your door open? Now that I'm finished with my Citizen Plus treatment, I'm free to go whenever I want. I'm just waiting for the nice guard to escort me out. Hey, do you know what time it is? No. Didn't they give you some kind of digital watch when you were done with all that brainwashing? The Citizen Plus watch? I won't get one of those for another five or six treatments. Rats. How'd you wind up in the Citizen Plus program anyway? My dad signed me up, and it's a good thing, too. I was completely out of control. I kind of liked it. Hey, on your way out, do you think you could help me break out of here? Oh, I couldn't do that, Martin. It's against the rules. Jen, snap out of it. This isn't the real you. I mean... It's kind of like the real, real you, but not like the real you in this timeline. 
Wow, that's... I know, it sounds crazy. I'd never call you crazy, Martin. You're just sick. I should know, I used to be sick too. But now, I never want to spray paint a Buick or listen to rock music ever again. Jen, this whole Citizen Plus thing is a scam. Edna's using it to take control of everyone in Hill Valley, including her husband. You know, Citizen Edna told me you were having paranoid delusions, but I had no idea. So, what was your Citizen Plus treatment like anyway? It's... it's... well, that's weird. I don't really remember. Must be a side effect of the treatments. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's... it's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea for us to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh danged hormones are out of control, Martin. Could you hang around for a few minutes? It's nice to have someone to talk to. I'll be here until the guard comes for me. Then I'll really have to tell him about how you're hijacking the cameras. Oh, come on. Don't be a narc. I'm not a narc. I'm a good citizen. Dad. How can I help, son? You got any advice for getting out of here? Keep working on Jennifer. She may be acting strange, but that girl's crazy about you. Could I talk to Jennifer again? Sure thing, son. Jennifer? What is it, Martin? Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's it's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea. Treatment. Why not? Hey, do you know what time it is? No. Didn't they give you some... The Citizen Plus... Rats. Don't go yet, Jen. I wouldn't dream of it. It'd be against the rules. Hello? What now? Can I take a look at my stuff for a second? Why? I, uh, want to make sure my guitar neck isn't getting bent. What? Come on, man. My parents spent a fortune on that thing. Fine. Back away from the door, sir. There. How's the guitar? I guess it's okay. Good. Dad! How can I help, son? I tried to peek over the guard's shoulder to get the combination, but he's too tall. Over his shoulder? Hold on. What? I may have it on tape. Zoom, enhance, zoom, enhance. Ha! What? The camera was high enough to see over his shoulder. Nice work, Dad. The combination is 2 left, 8 right, 18 left, 32 right. All right. Hey, your guitar. I'm sorry I tried to throw it out. Yeah, the guitar is pretty cool, but this is what I care about. No fair making your dad all misty, son. I need to play my guitar for her. Okay, Jane, here's a little something I think you're gonna like. At least, I hope you still do. Martin? Jennifer? Oh, Martin. Martin? What are you doing?
What's going on here? I have no idea, sir. I was minding my own business when all of a sudden a horrible noise started coming out of that camera. Well, that's not right. Yeah, well, neither is this. No one scrambles my brain, you hear me? No one. I'm Jennifer Parker, rock and roller. Jen? Oh, yeah, right. The helmet didn't really protect him much. Yeah. Jen! No time for small talk, McFly. We need to get you disguised so we can walk out of here. Calvin Klein underwear? Really? There. How do I look? A little short for a stormtrooper, but it'll have to do. Come on! Okay, Hotshot, what's next? Now we rescue Citizen Brown, get the hell out of here, and get things back to the way they're supposed to be. Whatever, just as long as I get to break some stuff. I've got a lot of pent-up hostility right now, you know? Miss Parker. What the? Yeah. I'm here to escort you to the lobby. Your father's waiting for you. Can he wait? I was hoping that this attractive young man could take me on a tour of the facilities. I'm afraid I really must insist, miss. Relax, Jennifer. I've got everything under control. Really? Really. Okay, then. But first... What was that for? For saving me, dummy. Let's go, officer. You know, I'm probably gonna have to write you up for a PDA violation. Don't bite me. What? Rock and roll. I have some of that. Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I can be pretty persuasive. No. No, no. Don't touch that. I need the caffeine. Hey, shh, busy. Do you mind? I'm trying to run a complete personality rebuild on the big man himself here. And? And the last thing I need is your stubby little fingers turning Hill Valley's savior into a drooling rutabaga. Is there a problem over there, citizen? No problem, ma'am. Good. Let's get back to it. Disengage occipital overrides. Wow, they've really got this door locked up tight. I wonder what sick freak they've got in here. Ah! I should have known. Hi, Biff. Looks like your intercom's busted. Eh, just as well. It'd probably be just a bunch of swearing and mixed metaphors anyway. The guard says I'm not supposed to give you any food until you swallow your pill. Oh! I have some of that. Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I can be pretty persuasive. No. Today is not the day to feel very drowsy. Hi, Biff. Hi, Biff. 
You want out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. Hey, Biff. Guess who your guard is? Peekaboo! Bye, Biff. What they need to do is take the pep, take the bed, the fucking um. Fucking what part of busy? Don't you understand? Make me so drowsy. Did I have some of your soda? I need the caffeine. Okay. So I'd never get my hand under there. Yeah, what I can get under there is the paper. No improvement, Citizen Edna. Shall I recycle the tree? Hi, Biff. Eat your pill. Come on, Biff. Just swallow your pill. Oh, Biff spit. Now take the pill, put it in the soda. Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? Ah, uh, sorry, it was just a shadow. Stop goofing around and get back to work. Yes, sir. Eating Biff, horse tranquilizers? Yo, God! Who, me? I, I mean, me? Yes, you! As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Uh, sure. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? Jeez, where's the off button on this thing? Hey, an equalizer. At least, I think it's an equalizer. Optics. Volume. Finally, a word I can understand. Okay, that moved him a few inches. Maybe I can blast him right out the door. Astrosensory. <laughs> Tactile. No, ah, sorry. Olfactory. I think I know what that means. Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, make yourself useful. I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This'd go a lot easier if you just gave up this madness about time machines and altering the past. You should concentrate on the future. There is no future for us. 
You won't think that in a few more hours. Anna, please, think about the consequences of your actions. Me? You're the one threatening the social order of Hill... Valley with your crazy tongue. There's no Jack. I almost feel sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Hi, Biff. One out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. Bye, Biff. Where's Martin? So today I had to make this video. Start start outside your door. Don't worry, dear. After we're done repairing Wash your clothes. damaged mind, we'll fix uh, young Mr. McFly. And I have no energy. Check. Sibilance. Sibilance. What was that? Okay, that was a little less dramatic than I had expected. Whoa! the base at the, at the beginning of the story. Attention citizens. This is an Omega-1 priority alert. Potentially disruptive nonconformists are loose in the courthouse. Please return to your homes until the situation has been resolved. Have a nice day. What was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't talk to her. She could give us away. What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. All right, Dad. Damn. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. 
Uh oh. Mom, Dad, no! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry, if things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? He's not coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett, without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that, too. You're not the only inspiration in Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past. Amazing. Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust, poor dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Martin, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration on the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Fine! Leave!